Right, welcome back to Breath Edge, Johnny J. Appleseed here. So, in the interim, um, in between yesterday's video and today's, uh, I ran around, collected a lot of items, and hey, look at that, for once my backpack is empty. <laughs> but yes, uh, we've installed the filter, and uh, we have the navigator as well now. The only thing we still need to get is the, what was it called, the micro, and uh, anti-asteroid protection. And for that we need two microplasm. There goes the music. Like um, we picked up one of those things. Where did I put it? There it is. Microplasm. And that was from one of the consoles inside that other ship. So, bear with me while I run through all the maze. I've collected all the resources now. Oop, not all of them. Collected all the resources. Hey, that's a door. At least I think I've collected all the resources. <laughs> um, let's see here, through this corridor, where's that other door? So I think there's through the next section too. <coughs> yeah, yeah, there's that green universe uh, thing. So yeah, so um, Exodus. Exodus is what those uh, ambulatory coffins are calling themselves. And they appear to have slaughtered the, all the green universe people before the... potentially before the liner even crashed, so... No idea. Or maybe the liner... The green universe still crashed the liner, but they weren't taking orders from their guy in charge um, it appears that they had some sort of like like, like Exodus had, had already killed the guy in charge and they were using some sort of device to emulate his voice um, from that liner from that shuttle oh this is funny so you can touch the trees I did this a couple of times already. I think it's about the fourth one. These are just trees. <laughs> you want from them? Oh uh, no! Wait, let me see if I can see the the messages. Um. Let's just see it quickly. I just want to read you some of the messages. Right. It's yeah. So the first one was like, um, <laughs> "Let's get back to business, shall we?" <laughs> it was after the first four trees. And then, um, yeah, I'm serious. Stop touching the trees. We have things to do. <laughs> and, uh, um, what's the other one? I think the joke isn't funny anymore. Let's go. <laughs> These are just trees. What do you want from them? Uh, that's hilarious. Honestly, the humor in this game. I think I think these guys need to make a lot more games. You hear that, Red Rune Software? You guys need to make more games. You really do. We need more games with this kind of level of, of satire and humor in them. So inside the shuttle here 
was this equipment. Is it this one? Yeah, what was this one here? So this equipment used the grabber. Uh, was it the repair tool or the grabber? It was the grabber. And I pulled that microplasm out of there. So that's, that's the only thing um, really notable from offline. Alright, so it looks like um, we're done with this particular section. As beautiful as this module is, I just love how this looks. Um, I'd love to to uh, to have a, a, a space like this to dock the shuttle, to dock the Normandy. <coughs> and um, oh man, just but it it seems it seems to me like, and this is a, a bit of a pity, really. But it seems to me like we're done with the space station building phase because I'm not unlocking any new blueprints for items to build. Um, for space stations, that we, we seem to be past that phase. It's, it's a different style of game now um, where we, we have these kind of instances that you visit and then there's an objective for that instance and then you move to the next instance um, so yeah so that's interesting so let's go see what the next instance has to to offer There's also something down the bottom there. So let's take a little trip and see what's going on. Oh, there's some of those coffins. That's a coffin thing. I don't want to encounter those guys right now. Can we go around? Can we go under? There's some debris there. Oh, there's more coffins. But it looks like there's only two of them. No, nope, there's more of them. Let's go this way now. Coffins here, too. They are everywhere. Scratch the paintwork. Okay, so there's some anti asteroid turrets there by the looks of things. Watch the turrets. Stop attacking me. It looks like it's one of the space military police modules. Their shuttles were equipped with the best defense systems. If we can't find a working shuttle, we could at least try to remove some of their armor plating and patch up the holes on Normandy. So how do we get in here? Without getting shot at. Okay, 
Mississippi seems to have a raid on me. Okay, so you can actually blow them up. Just got to get close enough. That'll make maneuvering around here a little bit easier. Space police. Right. Why does it feel like this might be a charge complete? Area? And right at the bat, I'm having trouble maneuvering. Apparently, we won't find any survivors here either. Switching between the station controls and the... Not the station controls, the shuttle controls. And the normal controls seems to be really... Messing with me. <laughs> need to drink something. Hey, a door! <laughs> How unexpected. <laughs> Seems familiar. Isn't it the capsule containing one of those ugly cow chicken hybrids that you irresponsibly launched to the surface of the planet? I hope it was empty already because there's oh no dear. sign of the mutant itself. That door's locked. Apparently, so is that one. Yeah, that's probably not good. Slime goes this way. These tracks don't <laughs> bode well. Oh man. The gore. Okay, so there's nothing there. Nothing to extract there. Ooh, lack of plasma. Resources. I can't imagine how hard the blow was. Something tells me I have a boss fight coming up. <laughs> it seems to be the only way to get to the military shuttles. I suggest we turn back and try to find a safer place to leave. Install anti-gravity. We can actually scan this. New blueprint. Anti-gravity. How do we get through here? Anti-gravity required. Okay, so let's go back to the shuttle. Through the corridor of gore. 
let's go and see what is an anti-gravity when it's at home. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing that whatever I am going to come up against relies on anti-gravity, or is it just to make traversing through that um, through that uh, space? All gravity modules just traversing through that space easier because it's at it's anti-gravity okay so what do we need here we need a compensator two batteries an inductor and four gravity modules that's three Compensator. I think we've got a compensator somewhere. Can we pick one up? Yes, we did. Okay, so we need an inductor and two batteries. What do we need for? What do we need for an inductor? I think we need some. Resources, composite resources. Metal, plastic, two wire. What do you know? We have everything we need. And anti gravity it is. Okay, so let's put the rest of this materials away. It's only got four left on it. I don't know if I'll need the blast or not. I, I hate the blast. The blast is terrible. Maybe, maybe it'll come in its own. And they grab your ass with that. Let's go. Shake your legs, Sikowski. Man, the sprint in this is not great. But then again, I mean, you're wearing this big hulking spacesuit, so I can imagine. It'll be a bit difficult. Oh. Now you face a fine under Clause 867A of the agreement for damaging the space <laughs> line of an unknown origin. All right, that was interesting. Hey, and they give you the compensator back. These are the tracks of the survivors. This feels bloody. like something out of Aliens right now. Crawling through vents, slime all over the floor, chasing some unknown creature. I'm expecting a face hug at any moment right now. <laughs> At which point I'm also going to have to go and change my underwear. I mean, seriously, what were they thinking? Hybrid chicken beef creature. Mm, I think there used to be bodies in there. Ooh. So this is what, an assembly se section? Detected some signs of an unknown infection on this body. According to intergalactic regulation number six, you must take <laughs> some samples. Of course, why not? Let's take uh, samples of the infection. Nasal swab sample. <laughs> oh my word. Swabs, uh, and it's a rusty nail. Some of the victim's nasal secretion in the absence of medical equipment it was taken with some rusty nail lying nearby. But who cares? Although I don't think the sample will help anyone, it never hurts to be cautious. 
there is a chance that the death was due to a huge hole in his stomach, and there are no traces of infection besides common acne on his face. Still, it's better to be safe and send the sample to Earth. Otherwise, it might turn out like in 2020 with Calvin. <gasps> oh, but only we jeez, will be the ones to I knew that was coming. <laughs> nothing, nothing is sacred. Absolutely nothing is sacred. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. What happened to my scissors? Did I put my scissors away? Did it... Oh well. I've got so much fabric already. It's... COVID. COVID-19. Oh my word. 2020. They absolutely are rock stars, these guys. These, uh, I'm loving these developers. Every freaking bit of this game. Even more and more. units the slot mad lads there was a real massacre here not so long ago Man, just gore everywhere Ooh, that's one of those security robot things it didn't turn out too well so there's two paws Judging by the tangled footprints leading from the cabin, the mutant attacked these unfortunate fellows and got drunk on their blood, which had a lot of something <laughs> alcohol containing in it. Check the, the gooey hoof prints. I don't really think I want to know what that what caused that. What have we got here? More cans of beef. They keep giving us cans of beef. Cans of beef are only used to make explosives. This is not good. <laughs> Ooh, a jar opener. A jar opener with a massive hand. <laughs> a hairy one too. Against the backdrop of global emancipation of women, the inability to open a sim simple glass jar due to difference in physical abilities between men and women worried the, pu the most productive feminists, most proactive feminists. Professor Sharo volunteered to solve this problem and created this miracle, miracle of engineering for which he was labeled a dirty misogynist for life. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Inventory is full. But I can have something to eat and something to drink. I wonder if the inventor would have evaded criticism if he had made it in the shape <laughs> of a female hand. Oh no. Beer. Drink some pie beer. Stay smart and sober with no fear. Hmm. The official sponsor of the Teetotalers Mathematical Olympiad. An advertisement poster for non alcoholic beer, which was drunk at the famous Teetotalers uh, Mathematical Olympiad. I don't know if it was really popular among the participants of the Olympiad, but there were definitely no sober people among the audience. <laughs> Uh, that's going to take too many slots, isn't it? I have to have that. After the invention of artificial intelligence, there was no sense in having mathematical competitions anymore. I would beat any champion, even if I just had one CPU core. Okay, so this is a dead end. Now we go down here. I'm gonna. S My intuition says I need to save. Always listen to your gut. It may not always be right, 
By the way, there's a chance that these are the only survivors besides us and your interlocutor with a strange accent. To be more precise, they were the only survivors until you <laughs> launched a capsule with a mutant death. <laughs> Crap, it's my fault. <laughs> oh no. It's a light bulb. I'm looking for a micro plasm. Not that I had the space to put one in. <gasps> That's called repair tool. Repair tool. Might need those. They're pretty rare. <laughs> this is just gore everywhere. What? Oh, it's the arm. <laughs> Somebody was trying to get away. That's an inductor. I'll take that. Another navigation chip. Lots of good resources here. Oops. <laughs> He tried to make it into the vent and couldn't. This one appears to be blocked off. What the? F yeah. <laughs> this is alien isolation. It's definitely the mutant from the capsule. I hope it won't be able to get in there and come after us. <laughs> but we better get out of here. Oh my word! By the way, we found Find the armor plates. <laughs> okay, so we survived that one, and my my heart definitely skipped a beat there. <laughs> All the shuttles are damaged. However, we only needed their armor plates armor in the first plates. place. Find armor plates. I don't understand the plate, but he definitely <laughs> wants to kill us. Hey, man, I freed you. Okay. Give me a break. It's close. This is This shuttle has armor plates. This is not good. I'm Get trying to. Out. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> this is wrong on so many levels. The shuttle is under repair. We need to examine it. Sounds are good. Oh man. Looks like it's the control panel for the jack. Here it is. An armor plate that we can use to close the hole in the core. They haven't fully welded it. You need to tear off the brackets and lower the jack. Shoot off the brackets. Okay, so... Finally, a use for this. Is there a gun lying around here somewhere that I can pick up? There's paint there too. Hmm. I see another session of coming collecting resources. Where am I gonna put all of this stuff? What's in there? Can't you 
against that one. This is freaky, man. It's freaky, freaky, freaky. Why is there going to be a cow alien or cow chicken alien thing? <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Eh? What the heck? Weird cow chicken thing. No, I can't get in there. I wonder if there's any of these shuttles where I can actually get into and maybe make another make another gun for myself. What do we have here? Can we get in here? We can't get them from the outside. Maybe we can pick them off from the inside. And no. We won't be able to pick anything off from here. There's no um Soup Nautica. <laughs> soup. The journey through the primordial soup. I bet you've learned most of your survival skills from such games, <laughs> haven't you? Oh no, there's another like your plasma. And here's the owner of the shuttle. Toy steering wheel. Oh, wait. Yes! That's the microplasm we needed for the... for the thing thing. The other thing. Let's use another... Uh, repair tool. Another filter. Don't mind if I do. There's no... There's no crafting station here. That's not good. No crafting station. Is there any way that we can craft? Shuttle was torn to pieces. Maybe we can get into this one. is to go back the way we came. Now that light's red, that light's green. <laughs> the hole in that guy's stomach, of course, being, um, you know, the whole chest burster trope. Uh, wrong direction. Now, I missed it initially uh, back in the beginning when I launched these things. I forgot to actually take a closer look at them and, um, you know, I would have seen back then that they were these alien looking things. Um, Saragan told me about that. Either Saragan or Eli, I can't remember now. Um, and yeah, so I, I missed that in the initial uh, part of the, in that part of the video, uh, which, yeah, uh, it's m more the pity because I didn't get a chance to have a look at these things in a, in a close up environment where. <laughs> where they weren't hostile to me. 
thing. All right, let's see here. No more noises, so I don't know where the thing is. Although I expect once I get the armor plate off, I'm probably going to uh, be subjected to some kind of jump scare or something. Did I get that one already? Yes, I did. Oh man, the nerves. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the two at the front. <laughs> the two at the front first. Didn't think about that. Well, uh, it is on the arm, so hopefully it's not just gonna fall on my head. Great! It remains only to lower the jack. Okay. Well, there we go. Put away the gun because. Take a oh, that's look at it. Awesome. It's all the way down there now. How do we... <sighs> Judging by the remains of the mutant, the plate is really heavy. Are you sure you it doesn't look like we can carry it? This is a mechanic from some other game. You don't have any strength at all. It's time to go back. Egg tube. I hope it was the only one here. Okay. Um, right. That uh, worked out better than I expected. Um, <laughs> thankfully the plate dropped <laughs> and killed the the mutant cow chicken thing but um egg tube some kind of organ that the mutant laid strange eggs with it might be another way it might be the other way around though and it was collecting eggs with it but it sounds rather stupid and it's even more stupid to take this slippery thing along <laughs> which is exactly why we're going to do it <laughs> all right so now how do i get out of here there's more resources. Okay, there's a way down. No. I don't know what this monster would have done to us if it had caught up with us, but did you see its terrible animations? I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely the most creepy creature <laughs> in the universe. <laughs> Oh no, that doesn't go anywhere. I'm guessing this goes back to one of the other doors that was locked. They've done that before. More titanium, more corridors. It looks like a technical corridor. We can use it to go back so we won't have to crawl through the ventilation system. Some more traces of slime. The mutant clearly used the technical corridors. By the way, I wonder how many mutants survived the flight to the planet. <laughs> Man, I don't want to be on that planet. It's interred a body there. <laughs> Uh, the aliens vibes is strong. Ah, here's the way out. Probably. And yes, I was right. <laughs> we got back to Normandy. Great. I recommend that we get out of here as soon as possible. We can't install any armor plates. We can't steal any shuttles. So we have nothing else to do here. Ooh, by the way, while we were running from the monster, someone patched up our hole and put armor plates on the hole. Probably it's the local repair team who worked on it when they noticed the identification marks on Captain Shepard's ship. So it turns out that we have <laughs> escaped in the dust all this time. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. So we can take the wheel, but we've got two of those micro thingy magigis now. Right, 
Alright, where did I put the other one? Okay, so... Um, items. We need a magnet. I'm sure we have a magnet somewhere. There's a magnet. Anti-asteroid protection. Active system for protecting civilian spaceships from small asteroids and debris. It can recognize danger, determine the trajectory, shoot and hit. As it turned out, the system can be successfully reconfigured to shoot not only tiny objects, but also people. <laughs> I think that's going to help uh, protect us from the uh, malicious coffins. Where do we install that? Upgrade shuttle control units. Nice. Okay, well, the cow chicken alien mutant hybrid dealt with, armor installed, and the uh, self-defense system installed. Why does that look like that's just jammed in there? <laughs> I think I'm going to call that an episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please, <laughs> you've got to like this video. I mean, uh, if you watch this video, you don't like it. I don't know. But um, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, hit that subscribe button and yeah, tell me what you thought about the the cow chicken hybrid in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.